Singapore must continue to have a strong armed forces and sustain its commitment to national service amid a fragmented and volatile world, said Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong at the opening of Safra's seventh clubhouse in Choa Chu Kong on November 23. The world is more dangerous and turbulent now, he said, citing the Israel-Hamas conflict and the war between Russia and Ukraine. Closer to home, Asia has largely been peaceful. But things could easily go wrong as a result of competition between the United States and China and flashpoints in the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea, he added. Singapore enjoys peace and security because the Singapore Armed Forces SAF has remained a credible deterrent force. Due to generations of servicemen taking their duties seriously, DPM Wong said. Operationally ready national servicemen and men play a key role in the country's defence, he added. Highlighting how they help operate checkpoints and supported hospitals under strain during the COVID-19 pandemic. Safra's newest clubhouse serves more than 90,000 SAF and men and their families in northwest Singapore. The 29,000-square-foot facility has attracted more than 700,000 visitors since its soft launch in June. Located within Choa Chu Kong Park, it features amenities such as a sheltered swimming pool, a 150M sky running track and an integrated entertainment hub with an 18-lane bowling alley. It also has eco-friendly features such as solar panels and a rain harvesting system. In his speech, DPM Wong said Safra Clubhouses offer quality facilities that are accessible and affordable for ensmen and their families. They are also places where servicemen can strengthen their bonds of friendship. Safra's efforts serve as a small but concrete way to show appreciation for the sacrifices ensmen make in service of the nation. The government will continue to find ways to appreciate and recognize the contributions of our ensmen. Said DPM Wong, pointing to efforts such as the year-long NS55 campaign to show appreciation to Ensmen and the redevelopment of the Marina Bay floating platform into NS Square, a permanent space commemorating national service. Among those at the clubhouse's opening were Defence Minister Ying Ying Han, who is Chairman of the Safra Board of Governors, and Senior Minister of State for Defence Zeki Mohammed. Who is Safra's president? From November 24 to November 26, a carnival featuring free workout sessions, stage shows, and a festive flea market will be held to celebrate Safra Choa Chu Kang's opening. Mr. Eric Lim, the co founder of a sleep wellness clinic, is a regular visitor to the clubhouse. A combat medic during national service, he was stationed at Singapore Expo when it served as a COVID-19 care facility in 2020. The 34-year-old, who uses the 18,000-square-feet Energy One gym at the clubhouse twice a week, also takes his three-year-old son along to play at the clubhouse's indoor playground Bonsitopia. He said, For young parents like myself, we're always on the lookout for activities we can engage our families with.